I'm Bridget Jones and I'm the Deputy Leader at Birmingham City Council. It is a really exciting time for the communities in Birmingham. One year to go until the Commonwealth Games comes to our city. There's loads of ways for communities to get involved. We've, we're at the City Council, uh, over uh, the course of the next year or so, we're going to be giving out six million pounds in grants. Uh, most of that's going to community groups to do fun things with the games, uh, bringing people together in the community, which is so important after so long with COVID tons of job opportunities coming up over the next year as well and we're looking for tens of thousands of volunteers as well to join the Commonwealth Collective and to come and be part of making the Commonwealth Games happen. So it's going to be a really really exciting year for Birmingham. Have a look at what's happening in Tokyo, that's just the warm-up. So exciting to be here in Centenary Square in the middle of Birmingham with just one year to go until the Commonwealth Games opens. But the message is it's not just about two weeks of fantastic sport, it's about long-term benefits for Birmingham and the West Midlands that go beyond that. New stadium being built, new swimming pools, new athletic stadium, new transport infrastructure being put in place that probably wouldn't have happened without it. And most importantly, new jobs. 35,000 jobs next year when the games are on, but some jobs that will last beyond that and of course jobs in the construction as well. So there's lots of way that local people across the region can benefit and also please go and get your ticket, apply to be a volunteer because you too can benefit in that way. Hello, my name is Deborah Cadnan and I am Chief Executive of Birmingham City Council. Um, I'm delighted to be here today. Um, one year to go to the Commonwealth Games, that it will just be so amazingly brilliant for the city of Birmingham, but more importantly, it will be so brilliant for the people of this city. It will be the start of a golden decade of opportunity, um, both sport, culture and business. So we are just as much focused on what happens after the Games as we are during those 11 days of sport. So I truly believe that this will be a great opportunity for the city, but more importantly for the people who live in this city. Hello, I'm Craig Cooper. I'm the Programme Director at uh, Birmingham City Council, responsible for uh, our part in delivering the Commonwealth Games. The Commonwealth Games plays a phenomenal uh, role in, in us as a community in the way that we come together, more so than ever before uh, since the pandemic. And it's a real opportunity for all our communities uh, to come out and share the celebration and the spectacle of sport next summer, but also to involve ourselves and all take part in the cultural programme that is going to wrap around much of 2022. And it's a real opportunity for people across Birmingham to celebrate who we are and what we're about. I'm a two-time gold medalist, Sports Birmingham, Duke of Edinburgh holder. I'm delighted to be at the Commonwealth Games. Honestly, it's a good turnout and hopefully in a year's time we can all celebrate as a nation, Birmingham's representing and I can't wait. I'm volunteering on the Commonwealth Games and honestly, I'm buzzing. I've been Murad. Peace. Hello. I'm Dame Louise Martin and I'm President of the Commonwealth Games Federation and I'm absolutely delighted to be here today, a year to go to the, till the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham 2022 and this city is going to be the home for 72 countries of, with all their athletes for over three to four weeks next year and for them to come here and see this, it is unbelievable. They are going to have a thoroughly good time. They will enjoy what they see, but more importantly, a lot of them want to meet the people of Birmingham, the people of the West Midlands, because we've got 72 different countries and Birmingham and the West Midlands has somebody for everybody in there. There's somebody from each of my countries living here in Birmingham and we want you to support them to make sure that they feel home from home and become part of your family too. So that's your supporters for next year. <laughs> And in the year running up to it, I try and urge you all, let's try some sport, try and get out and get active. We've had so long being controlled with the COVID and things like that. We want to try and make sure that you get active, you get fit, and you really want to be able to ensure that you can then support all the athletes coming here and try something different. But I would encourage you to buy, you start buying your tickets but don't go for athletics and swimming. It's not all the things that you know. Have a look and see what else is there and try and just sit, sit and watch that. And I'm quite sure that somebody out there will have become our next champion in each of those sports. So please, I look forward to meeting you all next year and keep going and 
Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Ian Metcalf, Chairman of Commonwealth Games England. It's a real joy to see everybody here today and you get a real sense of how the games are going to benefit the local community here. The opportunity for everybody to see elite quality sport in this city, city in which I was born, is a fantastic opportunity and we'll see the diversity of the sports community. But also, of course, so many contracts to be won by local businesses, opportunities for employment to provide all of the work and infrastructure necessary here. And finally, of course, the people who will make the games, the volunteers. Fantastic opportunities for up to 12,500 volunteers here. And it'll be great that so many of those will be drawn from the local community. This is Dr. Mohammed Sakhal Hussain, Deputy Lieutenant West Midlands uh, Lieutenant C. I'm welcoming everyone to be here in the next the Commonwealth Games, which we are anticipating more people to come in and join. And I would like to see more of our people uh, from the Asian community to also join in and enjoy the game, both as a participant and also be uh, watch the games here in Birmingham. So thank you very much.